Midnight Guthrie joined by Impact Pro Wrestling legend T.S. Aggressor for an Impact Pro Wrestling recap here at the vault tonight, June 7th, 2014. And a major event happened in our main event. The over a year long reign of the Tangerine Dream Ricky Love as heavyweight champ came to an end due to the hands of Nikki Free. Boy, such a young, talented athlete, the Tangerine Dream, 22 years old. Just an awesome, awesome athlete. Been a great champion for the last almost year. But he lost it tonight in surprise fashion against a worthy, viable contender and new champion, the six foot five and a half, two hundred and forty pound shredded Nikki Free. It was a match worthy of the championship, and now Ricky Love feeling the real, the first adversity of losing the championship in his career. Be interesting to see how he responds, how he develops as a professional. In our other championship bouts this evening, in tag team action, it was a team of Pretty Ugly defeating the Coalition's Nate Redwig and the very impressive newcomer in his debut here in Impact Pro Wrestling, Chance Atlas. Boy, I gotta, I gotta give Jerry Draco some credit. He brought in a spectacular, phenomenal athlete in the VIP Chance Atlas, but the powerhouse Nate Redwing even teamed up with Chance Atlas. Weren't enough to take out our current tag team champions. Pretty ugly. I couldn't believe it. I mean, what a mismatch. You got the gifted athlete in Chance Atlas, the powerhouse, unbelievable, of Nate Redwing. But they couldn't get it done against the well-oiled machine of James Jeffries and Ugly. Well, speaking of the coalition, it was the big picture Ashton Christopher successfully defending the Unified Championship for the first time over the, the rough and tumble Montoya X. He's a rough customer. Oh, man, I don't know how many times these guys could face each other, and I would buy a front row ticket every time. Hard-hitting matchup. These guys absolutely deliver every time out. But that new champion, the big picture, I mean, he's got a taste of gold, and he's not letting go of it. He took it to Montoya X. They took it to each other. What a brawl. What a give-and-take brawl from the very beginning to end. And uh, the champion retained. We got a, a, a very viable champion, very uh, game champion in uh, the unified champion, the big picture, Ashton Christopher. We saw the six foot eight behemoth, Harley Jackson, come out and offer an open challenge, a gauntlet of sorts. As we saw him take on four different opponents in one evening, he finished off the newcomer Royale, defeated Anthony Draven, defeated Juggernaut, and then it was Marshall Scott that answered the challenge and managed to slay the Giants. Man, that's impressive. Impressive of Marshall Scott to step up and answer the challenge. But what an odd request for to take on everyone. He said the statement he made at midnight was, He's beaten, he knows he can beat anyone, so he wanted to beat everyone. He has no friends, which is evidently everybody who's anybody was coming through that curtain to face him. But one by one, he destroyed them. Marshall Scott came, answered the bell, showed, showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit, came off the top rope with that death from above, that big knee drop. And it was lights out for Harley Jackson. Marshall Scott got the big win. Well, in a nice show of sportsmanship, Marshall Scott uh, told the crowd after the match, after going through four opponents, you have to respect Harley Jackson for that effort. Yeah, absolutely. Prior to that, we saw a nice, hard-hitting one-on-one contest between A.J. Smooth and Nate Olsen. Almost went to a time limit draw. Boy, it was getting close. It was getting close. At midnight, it was crazy. You see the well-conditioned, the specimen that is Nate Olsen. I mean, what, what a blue chipper this guy is coming in here, taking on a former champion and A.J. Smooth, and boy, that was a close one, a close contest, as a lot of them are here at IPW, a lot of close competition, but A.J. Smooth showing why he is still a number one contender by taking out Nate Olsen. Well, we have such a vocal crowd, a very lively crowd here in Algona at the vault, and I think they got in the head a little bit of Nate Olsen, and they certainly were behind in our opening contest, the, the crazy man himself, Thrill Cat, but he, he lost after the biggest winning streak of his career, uh, two, 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 or, two yeah. or three matches. He, he, he stacked them up. He stacked them up. He was going for three, but third time wasn't a charm for Thrill Cat. He met Sparrow, and Sparrow still, top contender, great athlete. You never know what you're going to get against Thrill Cat. It's not a guy you can plan for or train for. Uh, Thrill Cat even had some, some referee help there. I mean, it was, it was just bizarre, as it always very is. Bizarre. I mean, you just don't expect to see that as a wrestling fan, the, the kind of antics that Thrill Cat, the unorthodox nature of Thrill Cat that he brings to the table. But uh, entertaining nonetheless, but Sparrow gets a big win. Well, we're looking forward to being back here now going on August 23rd, but now we embark on a huge summer tour all over the state of Iowa, numerous county fair events. We have RAGBRAI-related events, and, and the crown jewel really is that Hall of Fame event at, at the Wrestling Hall of Fame in Waterloo, Iowa, July 18th. That's going to be a dandy. Absolutely, midnight. That's going to blow Impact Pro Wrestling fans' minds. 
Impact Pro Wrestling coming to Waterloo July 18th. We're going to dominate Ragby on the 21st of July. we got county fairs all across Iowa. Bacon Ride, June 28th. Oh, yes. I tell you what, we're every weekend we're going after someplace. We're going to dominate, take over those crowds, have a great time, party everywhere, and uh, dominate. But I tell you what, I can't wait. I've been training. I've been on a, hitting a treadmill. I know you can't tell. I got some fat man cardio going here, but I'm ready for Waterloo to watch. But I got to train just to be able to hang on to my seat while all this is going down because it's going to be big. We got all the best, biggest stars in Impact Pro Wrestling. We're going to have Midnight Guthrie. We're talking Rick Steiner, the dog faced gremlin. We're talking DDP. It doesn't get much better. Those men are in a different class than I am, to be fair. <laughs> well, I tell you what, when we, when we have a big show at the Waterloo Hall of Fame, it's a can't miss event. So don't miss it, fans. IPW. Long live IPW, long live Troy Peterson. Keep bringing us the fun stuff, Peterson. Book it. It's gold. Visit Facebook.com slash Impact Pro Wrestling and follow Impact Pro Wrestling at IPW Pro on Twitter for more information about upcoming events.